Hi all and welcome to the next in the series of videos for sustainability for business. Um, in this one we're going to be looking at waste. Now waste is a massive issue in the world of sustainability and the reason is nature does not do waste. So um, if you look at nature there is nothing wasted, there are no byproducts that cannot be reused or recycled within the environment by another organism and so this is kind of really the thinking that we need to get into our brains um, when we're looking at our own waste streams. Now particularly problematic are plastics and uh, chemical manufacturing waste byproducts. So this is, um, we've seen and we've read the statistics that there's going to be more plastic waste in the ocean by, than fish by weight by 2050. Um, and we've also seen these pictures of e-waste in developing countries, quite often picked over by small children to eke out a living. It's just not acceptable. We can't keep going on like this and producing more and more waste. So we need to not waste on the head and we need to think about how we're actually going to start delivering um, a more circular economy, reusing as much um, uh, recycled materials as possible and also um, reducing the amount of waste produced in the first place. So first up what you need to look at is think about how to do a waste audit. Now that can be as simple as going around your bins and looking in each of the bins if in an office area or in different um, parts of your business. Um, you might find that stuff that is, could be recycled is going into just a normal waste bin and obviously this is going to be costing you money as well. So you might think about having um, a little staff campaign um, and teaching your staff to actually recycle, pull things apart and recycle them more aggressively. Um, this graphic was taken from the District State of New York and they looked, at, they really interrogated the different waste streams that was coming out from New York City um, and they've looked at what is being recycled, what is not being recycled and so they can start to understand where they really need to improve um, their waste collection practices. Now this can be applied to an organisation, you should really understand what kind of waste is coming out, where it's coming out from your organisation. And then as you go forward you're going to be thinking about how to move into this kind of zero waste space. So this was a great graphic I found um, and it talks about the zero waste hierarchy. Now the first option that you're going to be looking at is redesigning whatever you're creating or providing so that you're designing out waste from your um, organisation. So an example of this uh, was coming up to Easter, where not many years ago there was um, lots of Easter eggs on the shelves all wrapped in plastic to get them there in one piece and uh, chocolate manufacturers have moved completely away from that and so the vast amount of um, Easter eggs now are brought entirely in cardboard packaging, it can be fully recycled and so this is not com completely taken out large amounts of waste from that um, from that area. Um, there's also some really nice stuff about the um, the packaging, the plastic um, packaging material that's used um, to transport white goods and similar type things. Um, there's some great examples of mushroom based um, packaging materials that can be used to transport your product and then it can literally be broken up and put into a compost heap and nature will do the rest for you. So there's some great examples out there about what can be achieved. It's definitely worth looking at this graphic and thinking about how you can actually apply it to your own organisation. You want to think about reducing the amount of um, raw materials coming in um, and this uh, and then actually whether your waste in itself can also be part of m moving into a circular um, economy. So there might other be other manufacturers on the same industrial state or different places. Can you bring these people in as partners and, and move your waste to them or vice versa and think about how we can start building something which is a bit more circular. Now when it comes to targets and evaluations, again, we're back to this circular um, uh, model. Um, think about the design. There's likely to be legislation coming in in the future which will give uh, consumers a right to repair. So think about your products. Can they be um, easily opened? Can component parts be purchased? 
Are you able to expand your business, for example, to offer a refurbishment service, potentially taking back products, refurbishing them and reselling them to new customers? Um, you could potentially look at bringing um, old products back and then reusing parts of the components into your new products. So have a real think about this because these policy um, ideas are moving and they're likely to gain uh, more weight as we're moving um, action on climate change forward. So just to recap, think about your problematic ways, particularly plastic, particularly chemical manufacturing, and start to build uh, collaborations and partnerships about how to actually create a more circular economy, and this will include your waste streams in that. Um, and I hope, wish you all success in that. There's lots of low-hanging fruits in the um, in the recycling uh, options. So hopefully you'll be able to pick those up, and that will be a useful one to start um, an area to start tackling uh, in your organisation. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.